going on guys is the mars mindset and i wanted to talk about this new um intel gaming handheld uh it's the only handheld that's come out outside of the steam deck that i'm kind of interested in um so it's it's not the a and o it's a different company uh but the so it's m door and it's got a Meteor Lake chip and an Intel Arc 5 graphics APU. So it looks, and I think the thing what stood out the most was that it was 35 watts for the TDP range. So, um, you know, personally, like I, I love the Steam Deck. I love the software. I'm super pro Linux. I even think in many cases the Steam Deck is actually fit to form and hardware wise is capable enough to meet even my requirements and i have a pretty beefy gpu as i like to mention often um so essentially it's like trip not triple but it's double the tdp of the steam deck and the power range uh it says that we don't know exact power range itself only the cpu in the idle state the CPU is operating at 5 watts while the GPU actually hits above 3.0 gigahertz. So Mdor, which is the company that is producing this thing, um, is serving up a integrated Intel Arc 5 graphics. Uh, G I'm going to assume it's an APU and we're not sure. They're not sure what the actual um, specifications are, but you know we can expect just by it being double that games like alan wake 2 would run probably really smooth on this thing so the gaming device is going to feature 32 gigabytes so it's double the memory of the steam deck of lddr5x and a two terabyte pcie gen 4 m.2 ssd storage which again gives it an edge over s several other popular solutions so the exact screen spec is unknown but they do know that it's eight inches so it's about one inch smaller than the steam deck sorry one inch bigger than the steam deck and it's 1080p resolution <clears throat> in terms of connectivity it has two usb c type ports and one usb type a 2.0 and it's got a uh 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So these are the demo uh, pictures of it. It looks almost pretty similar to a Steam Deck. Um, there's the two USBs, but it's a little wide, but overall, I mean, it looks interesting. I'm again, uh, lastly, the device features a stand at the back and so it's similar to the Lenovo Legion Go. It's hard to speculate about the new exact performance of this new device, but this is gonna be interesting um, comparing it to the Z1 and Z1 Extreme chips that have come out recently, which I'm personally not that excited about. But this one, because it is Intel, and because it's the new Intel Arc, I find that to be very interesting. So guys, thanks. Please like, share, subscribe.